Spokesperson for the Native Peoples Delegation to the People's Republic of China, and uh, very much part of her genetic makeup is, and she keeps kicking my butt, telling me we have. National Energy Board uh, gave conditional approval. Six o'clock in the evening. So if the decision comes down Monday, we're hoping that everybody can converge on CBC at six o'clock. If it's on Thursday, we hope to see everybody at CBC at six o'clock. This is the rumor that there's going to be a delay to allow for more consultation with First Nations communities. We know that if we take this matter to court today, the Harper government would lose that case. They would get wiped off the map. We believe the Harper government and oil and gas are making a last desperate attempt to cover their legal backside through this farce. They have what's known as a, a tripartite forum that they're attempting to cobble together in the last minute. It's to be populated by federal, provincial, and I must say cherry-picked First Nations representatives. And this... Ooh, and this tripartite forum will serve to circumvent the legal and constitutional duty of the, the governments and industry to consult with the proper title holders, the First Nations people themselves. We absolutely reject this tripartite crap and know that we have to continue this good work that brings us together today. We have to continue this campaign of giving public expression to opposing the the um, Enbridge pipeline proposal as well as the Kinder Morgan yeah. expansion proposal. We have to do this again and again and again as long as it takes. As, as you know, everything that I do, I do in light of our 14 grandchildren, the, the absolute central blessing of our life, and I know that you do too. So I want to thank each and every one of you from the from on thinking of my grandchildren in my heart. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out today, for taking the time to once again come together in solidarity. We are brothers and sisters, absolutely brothers and sisters in the struggle and the fight, the battle, the war. The war to clean water, clean water. Why, why, literally, thank you. That are coming back to visit us, the dolphins. We're all here for them. So I invite the Yinka Denny members to come up. It's been a long day yesterday chasing around graduates. And we never give up. 
going out there and saying that we are the people that are on the way of progress. We're not on the way of progress, we're on the way of protection of our land, the water. <laughs> and we're always going to continue to protect it. For my children and all of your children that's out there. The land has to be safe for our future of our children. There is a lot of other things that they can do besides use oil and gas. The Uncanada is starting to fight if we have to go to court to battle in there, we do that too. We're not going to stop. We're not going to stop until they know that we're part of any decision that they make on any resources in BC and Canada. aren't going to get by that. <laughs> but I tell you, we're going to stay there. We're going to fight. I'd like to thank you again for listening in that chapter. You know, just all kinds of support to make this day happen. I would like to thank the leadership of the Union of BC Union Chiefs as well for putting out the call for action for today. Because Harper and Christy they don't know what's coming. Well, I think they do, but I hope they make the right choice. And I'm very curious to see what they're gonna try to write in those history books to tell this story. I'm very curious. <laughs> We're gonna write the book. That is Thank you. 